Hi, it's Loa from Google Tech and today I'm gonna come back with the design topic. So sometimes you will need to design a linear pattern or a circular pattern with your design. So what are the linear pattern? What is circular pattern? To simplify the term, basically you have an instant and you want to distribute it in x and y direction, that's a linear pattern. Or you want to distribute it around, like in a circle, is is the circular pattern like you can see here this is linear pattern and uh, as the photo you can see it of the costa with a like, different instance in a circle that is circular pattern so the question is how can you do that with the normal cast software can you do that yes you can do that um but when you increase the number of instances you can see that the castle will be slowed out or easy to get crashed that's because uh, the castle where cannot handle like the large amount so for example with this one i try with free cat and it was fine i make this four by four pattern but when i increase the number of intensity to 12 by 12 like this one and uh, the free cat got crashed so um, I, I need to look for another solution and open as cast apparently works really well with it i did try and it was perfectly fine so today the topic is more focus on how to use open SCAD to design linear and circular pattern. Let's get to the tutorial. Here is open SCAD. Um, for the first part, I'm gonna talk about how we do the uh, linear pattern uh, like this in open SCAD. So uh, let's first design this instant. One instant of it is the button of the Lego build plate. It need it's a cylinder with the the height and the diameter which are defined here already of 9.4, 1.2 and 4.5 so when you run it you can see the instant right here uh, at the cylinder so that's the first part making the first the instant the second part for example if um, now look at this code okay uh, okay now if i want to make that button in uh, along one direction let's say the x direction uh, which is i want to make this along this isaac here uh, i need to define how many instances uh, i want to put in that direction and the distance between those so let's define the delta x is the distance between instances and the number of instance i want is 12. so to put it along this x asset um, you need to define the position of each instant right so make a loop a for loop for the numbers uh, it's a function of the numbers or instances that you want and at each position the the, the distance x direction distance is i multiplied by delta x so let's run this code you see you have 12 instances along the x asset because like at each uh, its position you have one instant so that's how you make it in one direction now if we want to make it also in the y direction uh, let's say uh, x and y direction then uh, let for let me co comment this code uh, control D okay now let's have a look at this part of the code uh, here uh, okay so since it's two direction right you need to define the number of rows and the number of columns that you want like it's a row and columns how many columns do you want how many rows that you want and you also need to define the distances between instance in x and y direction so i have to add the other two parameters the number of rows and number of columns and the delta x is the distance between columns okay and the delta y is the distance between row so i have it all here now because we make them in x and y direction we add another follow it's a function of uh, of the variable row and column like the one with one direction but now it's two we should hook them up up together so with this code you can see here uh, i have a follow with the column and row function now let's run this code see now we have uh, a how many rows okay six rows six rows and 12 column okay 
So that is how you design a linear pattern in OpenSCAD, X and Y direction. Okay, the last step, we just need to add the base to connect them together. Uh, you can simply just uh, put a just put a, a cube, for example. So they're gonna be like this, okay? But if you want to make it even more beautiful, uh, you can command this one. A control D, and uh, this is a little bit function. Uh, you you get to it. You read the code, and you will be able to understand. Huh? Control D. So this basically it at the four uh, um, cylinder at the four corner, and then they make a whole function to to press them together. It, it not it not the focus of today linear pattern. So I should make an example for you to see. So here is how it looks when it with the plate with the circular with the uh, sorry with the uh, rounded angle so that's it how i designed this uh, 12 by 12 a uh, lego plate okay um so now let's talk about circular pattern what is circular pattern exactly uh, in design you could if you have a look at uh, my photo over here that is a coaster. You can see that this instant were distributed on a circle and they have three layers of the circle. So that is called circular pattern. And, and to understand this, uh, we could have a look at the polar coordinate. Like in here, you can see like each point in the space that, uh, defined by the parameter R and the angle phi. So the R is the radius. So basically, we need to translate this polar coordinate of R and phi into the uh, X and Y Cartesian coordinate because we want to uh, show it on open SCAD. So each point in the air, uh, in the space, sorry, they have the X, it defined by R multiplied by cosine of phi, and the Y is R multiplied by psi of phi. So that's in the coordinates of this point. Keep that in mind. Now let's come back to our code of the of the uh, costa here. Okay. So let me command all of this so that is you don't get distracted. Okay. So at first we design decide the uh, parameter, the dimension of each of the point. And uh, it's as it as the button of the of the Duplo uh, Lego that we already saw, and then for first circular pattern, let's say we decide the numbers of instant that we want. Here we want a, for example. Then we can calculate the delta, the delta in the angle of it, because we want to make it a full circle. So the delta should be three hundred sixty divided by numbers of the instance, right? So that's how it is. So we can decide the fight angle of each of them. Um, so here, let's run the first code to see if we really have eight of the instances over the circle, like we, we calculate. So that's it. So this is how it is. You have eight, uh, cylinder on a circular with the radius of 25, like we already defined here. So that's good. That's the first circle. So now, I want to add even more. I want to add more circular pattern notice. It means that I'm spreading the uh, radius of it. Okay? So as with the R. So what I can do, is I can add another parameter, which is tuning the R, uh, the radius of it. So uh, let's command this. Okay? And I add another for loop in which I add the J parameter is because come of 0 0.5, 1 and 1.5. And then I multiply that J into the R. So basically I have now I have the R3 of the radius, 0 0.5 of R, R and 1.5 of R. And spreading it, I spreading the circular pattern over R. Let's run it now. So you see now, we have the 
three circular button over the R of each of them have eight instances on it. So that's it. That's how you create circular button and also multiply in all the direction of it. So the last step now is just need to add the uh, base of this and then you will have the coaster like you saw in the pictures. So this is how I use Open SCAD to design my linear or circular pattern. I hope it will be useful for you with your design. And if you have any questions, just put it right below in the comment and I will try my best to help. And uh, if you are interested, please subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next one. Happy making!